kochani, jesteśmy na Cena Show i złapiemy kilku kierowców. Zadamy im pytania, niektóre będą normalne, inne nie. Zobaczymy, jak sobie z tym poradzą. Can you tell me what kind of car were you driving this year and if you are planning to do some changes for uh, next year? Yeah, we're driving a 2019 Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5D and uh, we're going to keep similar setup for next year, change a little suspension and uh, dial it in for our sport that's growing so quickly and everybody's getting so aggressive with. Sweet! Uh, right now the drift season is over, so what are you doing between the drift seasons? Uh, so I run a school for drifting up in uh, Portland, Oregon, so we're doing that for most of the off-season as well as prepping cars and getting everything ready. Taking a short vacation in there because we've been going so much and being so busy, but overall just, uh, you know, continuing doing what we're doing. What do you think, what bald people, people without hair, what they use to uh, wash ha their head? That's been the question if it's soap or shampoo, and I feel like I feel like soap is better. Soap they, is don't have ho they don't have hair to worry about anyway, it's just skin. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think, what is the difference between Lego toys and sex? Mission failed. We'll go next time. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That's a good one, actually. <laughs> I don't know. I, there's not that much difference. I mean, You're adult, you come just on. have to position them correctly to make everybody happy. <laughs> That's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Right. Thank you. Very good to see you. Thank you. Can you tell us what kind of car were you driving this year? Uh, this year in Formula Drift? Yes. Yeah, we were driving uh, the Ford Mustang RTR and um, we will have the same car next year. We do have some changes we're going to do uh, on the car to enhance it and fix a few little issues that we found this year and just continue to increase the performance. Nice. Uh, you have atmosphere engine, right? So if you would prefer, if you would uh, ha have to choose between turbo or supercharger, what would you choose? Uh, well, we're using uh, naturally aspirated and nitrous this year. Um, but if I was going to go supercharger or turbo in drifting, I would probably go turbo because of the heat. Um, you know, uh, superchargers are really good. Uh, it really just depends on what the goal. We really like our configuration. Um, you know, superchargers are great for, for street cars, and but for, for that performance that we have, those big hits, big density, we really like the nitrous because it's very controllable. So do you think if uh, I would put a turbo, for example, I could also dry my hair with this turbo? You know, you, uh -huh. I, I use it in various uh, options. I think that you could probably dry your hair with a turbo, but you might want to be a little bit further away from it than like a normal blow dryer. <laughs> so right now the drifting season is over. Uh, what are you doing between the drift seasons? Oh, uh, well, we're at SEMA now, which is a big event for us. Um, working on a lot of new special projects. Uh, let's see, I'm going to Saudi Arabia for the Riyadh uh, Global Auto Show and um, going on vacation with my family to Jamaica. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then uh, next year, just a bunch of events, you know, racing off road, um, in the Ultra 4 series with my teammate Lauren Healy and uh, you know just having as much fun as possible. When you were a child were you uh, playing with Lego toys? Uh, I did play with Legos but I was more of a matchbox car guy. But uh, if you were playing Lego what is the difference between Lego toys and sex? Mission failed. We'll go next time. What is the difference? I would say what is the same between them? Um, I don't have an answer for that. You stumped me. <laughs> so, st stay with Lego, okay? okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't know that answer. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. See you. Odi, what kind of car you are driving this year and if you are planning any changes for next year? So I drove a Nissan S14, same car as you drive, and I love it. But... I've been driving it for over six years, so I'm planning to drive an S15 next season. Should feel the same or similar. And the same setup of uh, engine and uh, other things? Same setup as far as engine and suspension, so like Weissfab, field coilovers, CBM, engine, Vortex, supercharger, but I learned a lot of things by driving my S14, so I'm gonna change maybe uh, the weight distribution, like where I sit, maybe further back, little details that will make the car better than the car I have now. 
Sweet. Um, you're using Vortex Supercharger. Do you think that uh, this uh, Supercharger is strong enough to dry my hair? It might. It might make your eyeballs go into your into your head. So I'd be careful if you try it. It's, it's it produces a lot of uh, a lot of flow airflow. <laughs> Maybe wear the glasses. You'll be okay. <laughs> We have to try it. Okay. <laughs> um, the drift season is over right now. Uh, what are you doing between the drift seasons? Uh, working. I, I was working on my car yesterday. I probably still have grease underneath my fingernails. So as soon as I come back from SEMA, I'm going to go back to work. What do you think? What bold people use to wash their head? Uh, shampoo or soap? Oh, man. I would use shampoo because shampoo is supposed to be good for the scalp. So not just the hair. So I think they use shampoo. Okay. <laughs> what is the difference between Lego toys and sex? <laughs> you could you could build Legos really fast or you could take a really long time. So I don't know. There's a similarity there. I ask you about the difference. <laughs> Why you're looking for similarity? <laughs> Because I can't find the difference. <laughs> oh my God! Stay with Lego toys. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, can you tell us what kind of car were you driving this year, and what kind? Uh, what, if there are any plans for the next year, if we if we are talking about drift car? Right. So this year and last year, I drove a 2013 Chevrolet Corvette. So it's a C6. Um, I definitely would like to do something new, a new Corvette platform like a C8, but I think it's a little bit far-fetched right now. I just started getting my car working really well, and I just need to work on the reliability side of things, and overall I'm extremely happy with it. So no car changes for me this year, just better what I have. Uh, are you using a turbo supercharger or atmosphere engine? I use a Vortex supercharger with nitrous as well. Sweet. Do you think that uh, this uh, supercharger is strong, uh, strong enough to uh, dry my hair? <laughs> I think, well, actually, I know my car makes 1,080 wheel horsepower, so it's already too much. We're already kind of bringing it back, so I'm extremely happy with the setup. So far, it's been incredibly reliable, and it makes more power than I need. Sweet, but do you think that it will dry my hair? Oh, dry your hair? <laughs> I don't know. How wet is your hair? It might, it might not dry your hair. It might suck your hair into it. <laughs> got to be careful with that. Yeah, got to be careful. Okay, we, we have also Vortex, so we were trying, you know, <laughs> already with us. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, we remember. Uh, right now, this uh, drift season is over. So what are you doing between the drift seasons? Right, well, right now, we're at SEMA show. Um, that's kind of the mandatory thing for all of us to do. My car is here in the Vortec booth. So it's a bunch of meetings and preparation. And after this, you tear the car down and start working on it and rebuilding it and making sure everything's 100% going into next year. Uh, I'm going to be doing some driving during the off season, but just kind of some training with my practice car. So being able to rebuild the competition car and spend as much time behind the wheel is what's important to me this off season. Sweet. Um, what do you think? What uh, bold people use to wash their head? Uh, soap or shampoo? <laughs> shampoo, of course, unless you're bald, right? Oh, <laughs> bald, bald, huh? Bald. <laughs> That's this guy. He's pretty bald. <laughs> I, I have to check. Really, I have to check. <laughs> no, if I was bald, soap all the way. Just soap. Soap. Yep. Yep. Um, what, the, what is the difference between uh, Lego toys and uh, sex? Huh. Difference between Lego toys. I guess. He's thinking too long. <laughs> well, that's an awkward question. <laughs> I mean, here, the difference is that Lego toys are fun for kids and sex is fun for adults. That's the difference. <laughs> Good answer. No, come on, it's a normal, normal question. Quite awkward. <laughs> you should know the answer. You're an adult person. Well, I, I, I played with Legos when I was a kid, and now I do the later as an adult. So you know. This is a good question. Answer. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.